All right, that's Luna. I was not expecting to run into Luna here. I wasn't paying attention to where she was on the Marauder's map, but nevertheless, hello all you crazy people out there. My name is Dragonite. Welcome back to Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix. Okay, so this is another one that uh, another chore that I've kind of forgotten about that we we're going to have to do for uh, uh, setting Umbridge off. But anyway, the camera is uh, rather showing us what we have to do vaguely, and uh, I'm going to actually unset the footprints on the Patil twins for now because I want to do this because the portable swamps are rather funny. Um, how do I get up there? How do I get up to the roof? I think I have to go and climb. Alright, there's an X on the ground. I don't know if that's for my benefit or if that's actually, like, there on the ground. Um, let me see. Can I climb something here? No, it doesn't look like it. Here's the thing I can cast at. If you can calm down, that'd be great. Alright, so we can stack these. That's nice. Can I get up here? No? I might have to move these over to the X. Can I climb up the tree, I wonder? Well, first, let's do this. I have to climb onto the roof to get the portable swamp. Ron, where have you been? Alright, so... I can climb up. I am near something I can climb. I'm glad that the game is telling me this. It has been several years since I did this little quest. So... I'm not entirely familiar with it. Glad you think so, Luna. Alright, where is it? Can I cast Reducto on this? Alright, perfect. I can't get this very close. Alright. Should I, like, repair this roof? Can I, can I repair this roof? Luna. Luna, quiet. Alright, so... Let me see. How do I get down? Oh, I need to climb down, not, not the ivy, but on these ledges. Alright. Where did the box go, anyway? I lost the box. I don't care. Um, ouch. Well, I guess I can put this in the basket. Have fun with that. I was not aiming at that, however. I was aiming at... Come on, Harry. Stop being an idiot. I was aiming at this. Watch yourself, Hermione. Alright, let's do this again. And it's a wonder that... Come on, stop fooling around. It's a wonder... Oh, it, it is on the cross. Uh, the big one, not the, not the one that was telling me where to climb. Come on, aim at the thing. Oops, I was going the wrong way. But anyway, that's Reducto. It's beautiful. And the students are just walking past without even looking at it. Fred and George really know their stuff. They said they'd hidden boxes in the other courtyards as well. We should go there and set those up too. I think I'll stay here and see if any Winky Pants come. Okay. So I think. Where exactly is Luna going to go? She's just gonna like do a patrol around the, the edge of the courtyard. Luna, do you actually have anything to say? I don't know where she went. Alright, well, let's go on to the other courtyards because this is actually quite fun. And I don't know. The Patil Twins can wait. As humorous as that little uh, quest is, I think. 
Can I cross here? How do I uh, cross? Oh, you know what I have to do? I have to come here. There we go. Alright, and there's like mushrooms growing off the sides. Um, it is time to go to the entrance courtyard. I don't want to cast at you, I want to talk to you. You don't say. Alright, here we are in the entrance courtyard. Are there any X's over here? Because there might be a different one that I'm supposed to go and, uh, and muck up and swamp up. Alright, so let's try the stone courtyard over this way. Because I don't see any X's on the ground in the, uh, the entrance courtyard. This is the viaduct. What exactly is the viaduct? Something I don't actually know the answer to. Um, anyway, any X's on the ground? Okay, let's do that, and indeed there is an X in the middle here. So we are going to go climbing on the roof again. Oops, don't do that. I'm glad to see that this uh, this thing hasn't fallen apart yet. Although I did notice that the pipe over here where I'm supposed to climb has. Do this. You know what, Ron? Umbridge isn't going to catch us up here because that's not how the game is scripted. So up, Cat Harry climbing the poles. He does kind of look like a like an abstract drawing of a cat climbing this pole, doesn't he? Anyway, I think I need to come this way. Along the wall. Along the wall. Along the wall. Now he's more like Spider Harry, except he only has four legs instead of eight. He's Spider Harry with half of his legs missing. All right. We're we're still only part of the way there. Why am I even trying to commentate this? This is a very slow part of the game, as I'm uh, I'm sure you're aware. Um, it just occurred to me that we didn't actually get to see Fred and George leaving. Yeah, we didn't actually get to see Fred and George leaving Hogwarts, did we? Because they had the whole scene in the, uh, in the books in the movie. In the books when, like, they told Keys to give Umber Chell, and in the movies when they kind of flew out during the examinations or whatever it was. Or, uh, was it the detentions? I think it was the, I think it was the, uh, the examinations that kind of flew out. And finally we're on the roof. And we can run on this way. And we can levitate this over out into the, uh, into the middle of the courtyard. Boink. Is that an Urgling cry that I heard? Because I know in the DS version of Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire, Urglings would play music like that before they attacked. And like the, the, the sound would do damage to you. Or something like that. Hmm. Anyway, I have to climb along this ledge once again. Spider Harry, I forgot how that Spider-Man song goes, because uh, I was never really around for that part of pop culture, and let me see, Harry, is there anything I can do to speed you up? No, I don't think so, is there anything I can do to give the impression that this is going to be sped up, you know, besides actually speeding up the video? Alright, we're halfway along the last ledge, we're halfway, along the we're halfway along the last ledge, we're almost there, Harry, just jump, it's not that far, you're a wizard, you won't hurt yourself. Alright, yeah, slide down the pole, thank you, we got to the bottom now, I'm near something I can climb, I do not care. Because that was a pain in the neck. So I went there once before. Harry, you did not tell me about this. But anyway, this is a swamp. I'm glad you're going to get a drop at the ministry. We can do a reducto. I keep, wav I keep waving my, my wand the wrong way. He really looks upset now, doesn't he? Again, it's beautiful. That was brilliant. Let's hope Umbridge finally gets the message. Yeah, nothing says bug off better than a portable swamp. Really? You did not make that pun, Ron. You did not make that pun. Alright, how do I get out of here exactly? Do I have to go this way? Nothing says bog off better than the portable swamp. You've got to be kidding me. Anyway, it's only the Transfiguration Courtyard left. Remind me to drop an apology to Professor McGonagall that we're going and messing up her courtyard, but can do that later. Oh wow, I just noticed this. But these are all the educational degrees, decrees. Can I actually read these? 
I don't think I can actually read those. Those aren't high enough resolution to read. That's a shame. Anyway, Transfiguration Courtyard. Actually, why am I cutting away? We're right here. Rough. It would be. It would have been funny if they had animated that dog's mouth opening, but never mind. Anyway, here we are in the Transfiguration Courtyard. Hello. Malfoy slammed up. Oh hey, it's the scene where Malfoy got turned into a ferret last year. Fortunately, that was not in the game because the last previous game was kind of an action game and it didn't really have much story to it. Um, let's see, where was the... Uh, oh, it's on the tree. How do I get up the tree? Very nice hiding it in the tree, Ginny. Um, can I uh, Wingardium Leviosa this? I can. Alright, you guys had to show up, didn't you? Anyway, we're gonna be dueling again. Can we actually start dueling? Petrificus Totalis, that missed. Alright. You, I don't know who this uh, black girl Slytherin is, but I think she's black. Uh, she might just be, uh, she might just have a bit of a tan. Um, but I don't know who she is, because I don't recall any girls hanging around with a uh, crab and goyle. We can go and do this. Actually, I can't quite make out the tone of her skin. I just, she was in the shadow, I don't assume she was black. Um, let's see, Crab, on the other hand, or Goyle, or whoever you are, I think you're, I think you're Crab, because Crab is, uh, the bigger one. Goyle is a little bit slimmer. You can do that, Levicorpus. And I can do this, point blank range, Levicorpus. No, I thought that was Levicorpus. Alright, I'm finally not losing a duel for once. I think. I almost are on. Can do this. Can do that. Can do this. Are we done yet? You're, you've been on the ground for a while. Rictus Sempra. Whoops. It's a nice barrel roll. Maybe. Alright, so can I do this now without the Slytherins getting in the way? Let me see. So, this thing up here. Guardian Leviosa. And where's the cross? Trying, oh, here it is. Alright, I think that did it. Let's come on over here and cast... Let's cast Incendio this time, see if Incendio is going to work. It did. Alright. Nice. I like it. You are just as bad as your- Oh, no, no, no! No! Guys! Puns are not okay! Guys! These puns! Umbridge's name is gonna be mud, she'll be swamped with complaints, you've gotta be kidding me. I think I've had enough, I'm gonna end this video off here. For now, my name is Dragonite, I hope you all enjoyed this, and I will see you all later.